literally peel off the gel ratchet I'll make the ugliest faces when I put on makeup hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be showing you how to do this bold and glowy makeup look like when I say glowy I mean like you're gonna need some sunglasses because this is intense look at the glow mm. Mm. Also, I have really crazy natural hair today, so I hope you guys don't mind the jungle woman who has stepped out. I'm going to be using a few new products in this video that I haven't tried before. One of them I have tried and I love it so much, but I have never done a video with it. It's called the Narcissist Loaded Eyeshadow Palette and it has 12 super wearable gorgeous versatile day to night eyeshadow looks eyeshadows in it and it's so pretty i wanted to create this bold look with it but you can definitely do just a really light daytime look you can do anything with this palette it's so gorgeous i also used some new highlighters from iconic ofra and then some la girl stuff that i got in so i'm so excited to show you guys all these new amazing things and share with you guys how to get this look don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family and without further ado let's get on with the tutorial mm -hmm. I did that. I'm gonna try this primer this is from Kors it's the Greek yogurt smoothie primer so we're gonna go ahead and use that today I've actually never used this before so oh, it smells really good mmm actually kind of smells a little perfumey it definitely feels like it's moisturizing my face it feels cushiony on the skin which is awesome for foundation today i'm gonna use this one from la girl it's the pro coverage hd high definition long wearing illuminating foundation it's such a long name but i'm going to try this guy out today this is in the shade natural so i'm just going to take some of this on my hand and just pounce it all over my face Oh, this is actually, this is a perfect match for me. So for the eyes today, I'm going to be using this palette right here. This is from, this is the Narcissist Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. And I like the packaging. It's so pretty. This is actually limited edition. It has 12 super velvety eyeshadows in it. They're so, so pretty. These eyeshadows are everyday wearable eyeshadows that you can use from day to night and then you can deepen it up with these shadows over here add some shimmery sparkly lids I've used this in snapchat get ready with me's insta stories so you guys know I love this palette all kinds of stuff you can do with this palette highlight diffuse define there's so much you can do with it I'm gonna go in with Windsor right here this is like a warm beige matte color very pigmented eyeshadow I'm just gonna use that all over my lid load it up and pack it pack it down load it up and pack it down so that's basically to make sure that it's gonna glide on smooth this is our base and now I'm gonna go in with a transition shade the transition shade I'm gonna be using is this one right here it's spelled like that and it's a peach matte shade so I'm gonna take this peach matte shade first and pop it into the crease with this morphe brush does not have a number on it but I think it fits in my priest priest it fits in my crease pretty good so we're gonna use this one just like so and I'm just going to use these back and forth motions right here and use circular motions towards the end of my lid just because my skin's very taut in that area so I can kind of move my brush around easier. So I'm just going to go back and forth here very lightly because my skin's a little bit more loose in this inner corner area. So just remember we all have different eye shapes, we all have different lid spaces. It's really important to use transition shades when you're doing like a bold eyeshadow look. You always want to start off with something that is very light and neutral in that same shade range that you're going in and then build on that because if you start off with one strong color, it's going to be a lot harder to blend and it's going to be a lot more difficult to layer on, you know? So make sure you're using the right eyeshadow brush and make sure you are transitioning your eyeshadows. So the next color I'm gonna pick up is this darker shade of brown okay these shades are kind of difficult for me to pronounce so I'm going to just spell it out right here it's an umber brown matte shade and pop it into the crease as well and I'm just gonna use the same brush I'm just gonna layer right on top you always want to tap off the excess so you don't put too much product down at one time because you want to build it up 
so I'm going back and forth here and I always keep in mind that I want each shade that I use before to peek through so I kind of try to keep it below that shade or I'll go back and I'll I'll add that shade back into the crease so that it shows you know so you don't want to overlap it completely so you have that nice gradient and with this I'm gonna work it down into the outer V and I'm layering this on kind of like I'm doing a wing. I'm just going from the outer lid and following up towards the tail end of the brow. And what this also does is give you the illusion of a more lifted eye. So you, you can tell by the difference in my eyes already. This looks a little bit more like I got an eye lift or something. So in case you guys have a problem where your eyes look tired or droopy, try doing your eyeshadow like this at an angle. Okay, the next shade I'm gonna use is right here. It's a dark brown matte shade. So I'm starting off with just a little bit of the dark brown on the outer corner. So I'm like tapping it in there, just using circular motions. Keeping in mind you want those other colors to peek through the top and just start to intensify the outer V. And you gotta remember the shadow is embedded in the brush so you can still build on what you have here until you really you're not doing much with it then you can add a little bit more. Really take your time on this because dark shadows are a little bit more difficult to blend and work with so a little bit at a time. Something's itching me and I have something coming out on my skin, great. Um, so I'm going to go back in with the brush we used for the lighter shades in the crease and I'm going to soften up the outer edge of that before it gets too crazy. And always remember if you have trouble blending, make sure your hand is towards the back of the brush. So the next shade I'm going to use in the palette is the darkest shade in the palette. This is the black satin shade. I'll have it written below. With the same brush, it's pretty tiny. With the same brush, I'm going to go ahead and dip into that black shade and start to work that on the outer crease as well, on the outer V. So I'm going to go in with this really beautiful bronze shade right here. This is a bronze shimmer and I'm going to pop that onto the lid. And then I'm just going to use that clean blending brush and just make sure there are no harsh edges. And then for my wing, I'm going to use this Galactic Precise Eyeliner Marker. Looks like that. Pretty sharp and pointy is how I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start to do a very dramatic wing. Let's see how dramatic it gets. I like that this eyeliner lets you do a very thin precise line because that that point is so narrow. And when you do this type of eyeliner it really really gives you a facelift. I like that facelift look. So now I'm just gonna prep my little lashes for false lashes. So I'm gonna put some mascara on. Actually, I'm gonna go back into the, the black or the darker brown and kind of smoke out the wing a little bit towards the end. So I'm gonna take that dark brown and just smoke around the wing like right in here. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the eyelashes. We are going to use, let's see. Or, ooh, those look nice. Or the Iconic Lights. Okay, I'm gonna go with Lila from House, um, from Lily Lashes. We're gonna go back to the lower part of the lash line in just a little bit, but I wanna do the rest of the face. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use this one from LA Girl, it's the Pro Conceal. I'm gonna go ahead and work this on my under eyes. This concealer is amazing. Covered up everything. I know I'm using a lot of LA Girl, but I just got in a ton of new LA Girl makeup and so I wanted to try it out. So next I'm gonna use this um, Pro Contour Cream from LA Girl. I'm gonna take that contour color, start to contour my nose. Just shave off the sides a little bit. Okay, so now that we have all of the face on there, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go into this shade right here and work that on the lower lash line. It's kind of like when you're working with the crease, you wanna build up the intensity. That's kind of what we're doing here. Take that with a Morphe M507 brush and I'm just going to work that on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with this little brush right here. This is from the Makeup Shack. The brush number is T2. I'm just gonna work my brush into the darkest brown shade. I'm gonna start to pack that on the lower lash line using these little padding motions. And then I'm gonna go into the waterline. Actually, haven't even opened this yet. This is another LA Girl pencil. LA Girl's pretty good. Very creamy. 
You can go all the way in. Uh, I'm gonna stop just before it goes too far just because my eyes are a little more close together. So I like to keep all the darkness from here back. And then for the inner corners, I wanna brighten it up. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's called Newberry Street. It's a white gold shimmer. We're gonna use that to really brighten up the inner corners. So my goal for this look is to be super glowy to the point where you guys need sunglasses to watch this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this iconic London illuminator. I'm just taking a little dot and working that on my cheekbone. And to set everything in place, I'm gonna be using my The Balm Highlight and Contour Palette. So I'm gonna be taking these two shades right here right on the under eyes. And I'm just patting everything in place. And then to set the contour in place, what I'm gonna do is use the contour shades in the Balm Highlight and Contour Palette and just accentuate the cheek contour. And because this is a powder, it's gonna help just set whatever's underneath it in place. So you don't need necessarily need to go all over with one face powder. So the next thing we're gonna use is bronzer. So I'm gonna use this Rimmel one. It's called Natural Bronzer. It's a waterproof bronzer, really. I'm just gonna work that into my cheek. Anywhere else, I'm just taking this neutral color right here and just setting it in place, like right below the cheekbone. And it also kind of helps with enhancing that contour. So I'm setting the highlight in place with a powder highlight. This one is from Ofra. It's called Blissful. It is so gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I thought I loved Rodeo Drive and then this happened. And actually I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna take this one from Kylie. It's the new Kylie blush. It's called X-Rated. I'm just gonna pop it onto the cheekbone just to add a little bit more glow. And yes, I am highlighting my ears. Your ears can be cute. For the lip liner, I'm gonna be using this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Boys Town. And I want my highlight mustache to show. For the lips, I'm gonna use this Ofra Liquid Lip in Nude Potion. And this is actually from the Nikki Tutorials collab. Ooh, that is pretty. And then I'm gonna go over the center with this Galactic Lippy. And this is in Shine. It has like a gloss end like a clear gloss and then it has this gorgeous glittery and it's just so pretty. I wanna use this as a highlight on the center of my lips. So now your lips have that wet glowy look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up. And if you missed my other videos, they're gonna to be to the right so you guys can check it out. Actually, they're to the left, right? Don't forget to subscribe. I am in a circle below, so hit that circle if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And that's it. I just want you to know that you're also beautiful. You are amazing, you is important, and you is smart. I love you so much if you know what he's told you today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, dollies.